All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, so that's to review for the 2024 crime thriller film called The Last Stop in Yuma County. And I believe this is an independent film, uh, by the look of it. Um, but here's the plot. Stranded at an Arizona rest stop, a traveling knife salesman gets thrust into a high-stakes hostage situation by the arrival of two bank robbers who will stop at nothing to protect their fortune. As they do. And here's some of the cast. So no clue when this took place, but by the look of everything, it looks maybe 60s or 70s. Uh, the brown yellow, yellowish to filter helped with that as well. However, I was having personal issues with how high the contrast was. Also keep in mind they're shooting in and around a cafe in the desert area during the daytime. So it definitely has some brightness to it. And when you have high contrast, it really kind of blinds stuff out. So they kind of look like they kind of tried to compensate for that. And I've seen this before where they shoot in really bright daylight and it's independent film. So they only have a certain amount of budget and what's uh, technology to them. So they tried to compensate as best they can. I know I tried to do that, especially this recently with uh, a part of my intro. But uh, other than that, the direction the director went with the shooting, each scene felt smooth and very impressive, the whole film was especially in an awe factor to me. The focusing transitions with the camera in certain scenes as well. Richard Bright is in this, and I keep forgetting how naturally creepy he comes off and sounds. Did a great job, though. Some playful or awkwardness with some characters, but definitely got a suspenseful feel to the film. Now, out now the outcome was wild but after that they only needed to do it 10 minutes to wrap up the story but literally 30 minutes it started to feel super uh extra and in my opinion not needed uh what i'm saying is there was 30 minutes or around 30 minutes at least left after the the the, the, the thing and they could have done like wrote it to where it was 10 minutes after from that time on to wrap everything up instead they they had this part in there right after where it just felt very stretched out and extra and then it kept going to the type this whole story so it was it was just a little bit it, kind of downhill for me on that but here's my rating i'll come back with my final thoughts Ninety percent of the film was really good, but the last ten percent I didn't care for. That's when it went downhill. But the film still wasn't bad. Uh, it was only like ten percent, the AKA thirty minutes, like I said, of the film. So actually, I do recommend it. It's pretty good for what it was. It had a little bit of quirkiness, playfulness as well, along with mixed in there with some serious suspense. Um, but, uh, as always, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Um, that is all I have for you today. Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love, most importantly. Skull.